So hey everyone, it's dark and it's nighttime, and I have my Christmas lights already set up outside. Um, so I have the device here, it's not in any kind of waterproof case or anything because I'm planning to build like a 3 printed case and stuff for this later. Um, I'm not going to be able to do that for Christmas this year probably, but next year, I have a lot of plans for next year. Um, so subscribe. And essentially what I have here is I have a circuit board that I soldered up stuff myself. Um, flashback to that picture. I have the Bluetooth in module, I have uh, my little display here that's going to show me my audio levels for each band. This is outputted to a speaker, right? And that's that's about it. And then well, I have the plugs there that is going to be connected to all the lights, right? Um, in a true Trini fashion, I'm going to be playing Parang. So I'm going to be playing Marshall Montano, Soka Santa. And when I press play, So you have, you have the lows here, mids here, and the highs. Hey everyone, welcome to another episode of Just Baron. And it is the Christmas season. Christmas Day is right around the corner. And this evening, my family and I would be putting up our lights, or Christmas lights, around the house. So I thought today would be a really good day to do a project that I've always wanted to do. Which is to have my Christmas lights beat to the sound of Christmas music. And I think it's going to be really exciting. I hope it comes out really good. I hope it comes out as good as I see it in my head. So that's going to be today's video. So this is kind of going to be how I'm thinking this is going to look, right? So what I'm going to have is I'm going to have this, which is a Bluetooth to 3.5 millimeter audio converter. And that is going to basically be plugged into an audio jack, um, which is then going to be fed back out into a speaker. Now, I'm going to have the audio processed via this, which is a MSG EQ7. And this is basically a kind of spectrum analyzer that has a bunch of filters in it that splits up the audio into seven bands so we can get our lows, our mids, and our highs. Um, this will then be fed into a microcontroller, in this case an Arduino Pro Micro, that will in turn control some relays that will control our Christmas lights, that will plug into, um, our Christmas lights will plug into, and it will, these will trigger the lights on and off, and control our lights. So that's ideally the plan, obviously it's going to be a little bit more complicated than that, but um, I hope this is how it's going to work, I, I hope and this is how it's going to work, right? So, yeah, so the MNG is basically a seven band graphics equalizer. Really, really nice range, and it's gonna basically be sensing these audio frequencies. Now, for this project, I'm gonna follow their schematic to the key. All right, so to better visualize what is going on here, I actually wrote a small code for this little uh, matrix display where I'm going to show the bar levels on the of the audio coming in onto this display. So what I've what I have set up here already, and I didn't write the code yet for this, but I have the MSG EQ7 with a bunch of supporting circuitry. It needs some capacitors and resistors, but they are all in the data sheet. Um, and I'll probably link this schematic down below. Um, I have a display, I have an Arduino Nano, but I will switch this out for a Pro Micro, Pro Mini, sorry, later. And I have my Bluetooth module, I have an audio splitter, and I have a speaker. So um, the next step now is to program this to display the bands that are coming out from the MSG, MSG, 
e di MSG EQ7. Two hours later. Okay, so I just spent a little bit of time writing a code and I'm pretty happy with how it, it came out. So I'm not sure if you can see this with the light. So I'm going to just lower this to get it a little bit darker so you can see it. And if I press play. So what it's basically doing, it's sampling the different frequencies that the music is producing. Um, I'm not doing any kind of like analytics or anything to figure out like if it's a snare or drums or whatever. It's just doing piece this. It's basing this solely on frequencies, and each band represents a frequency. Um, so that's about it. So we have, um, I think, on this side here will be the 16 kilohertz, and then lastly 63 hertz, right? And that that's about it right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to pick three of these bands, or I'm going to do uh, uh, either uh, an average of two, and I'm going to use that now to trigger three different lights to give your lows and mids and your highs. And hopefully that should give us a nice light show that, you know, resembles like we have the beats, the sound and the highs. So it, it should be it should be cool. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that part. I'm going to have to do a little bit of testing to figure out what is what. But I think that looks cool as it by itself. Like. So it's actually getting pretty late, so I thought it would be a good idea now to give a kind of update before I start to do the next phase of this project, um, which is actually testing it on actual lights. So this is where I'm right now. So again, um, I have the whole setup here. And this time I actually added some LEDs. So right here I actually have some LEDs that are going to simulate what this is going to do outside, right? So let me just kind of turn this light away. Red is for the lows, green is for the highs, and um, yellow is for the mids. Right, so um, my original plan was to use these solid state relays for this project um, because they have really fast switching speeds. Um, the only problem is the ones I have, which I had from a previous project, do not work with AC voltages. And because it's Christmas time, it really makes no sense. I'm not going to get two day shipping right now and it's kind of late. So what I'm going to use, I'm going to use relays. Um, they're going to be a little bit slower and a little bit noisy, but you know, I don't really have a choice. Now, the good news is I actually had a project from before where I actually built a relay controller. So, um, that is this device here. So, um, inside of here actually has a four-channel relay, right? And it comes out to this little plug here that I can control from the Arduino. So, I'm going to actually just open this up and kind of show you what the inside looks like. So, inside of here actually has a relay board that I screw to the bottom and I wired up the plugs here so that I can control each one of these switches. Now for this project, I'm only going to be using one, two, and three. Um, four is actually normally closed. We have our LED circuit here and then this is now going down to our relay inside of here. Right? And let's just check and make sure our relay is getting power. So we put on the power supply. I'll be doing a video on this power supply later. So our relay now is on. And let's see the magic happen. So I'm gonna just let's see what song I could do. No, I really love I really love Mara Kari all I want for Christmas. So again, hopefully YouTube doesn't flag me for this. So it's starting up. My speaker here. I just realized I actually forgot to plug in this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Alright, so one of the biggest problems I have right now, other than that annoying clicking sound, so I'm gonna just pause that, 
yeah, these mechanical relays are really slow. And I mean, it, it is a mechanical device. So there's a little um, coil that energizes that causes the arm to swing. And other than causing that annoying clicking sound, it's causing a small delay between when the light comes on, um, not giving you the full effect. Now, ideally, what I would like to get is some really good solid state relays. Um, sadly, the ones I have right now are only for DC and it, it really sucks. I really need to get some AC ones, so I'm probably going to see if I can get some AC ones. If I don't, I'm still going to upload this video as it is. Um, it still looks pretty cool, but there is always going to be that, that small delay. And you can see it because I have the LEDs here, which are operating in more or less real time, while the, the, this, these, these lights will be lagging a little bit behind. So you can probably see it right now that, right, well, it's actually working pretty good now, but after over time, I don't know if the relays get hot or, or whatnot, but it doesn't work as good as it should. But it still looks pretty damn cool in my opinion. So, so what I'm going to do now is kind of box up everything here, make it in somewhat of a package that I can now put it outside and have it work and then um, probably get my niece and stuff to come and see it and it, it, it should be cool, it should be cool. So. So I've basically soldered up the board um, how I want it to be. So basically what I have is I have outputs to the uh, matrix display. I have right here basically um, a JST connector to connect to the relays and that's about it. And then I have my audio in and my audio out to the speaker here. So, um, so I added this um, voltage regulator for the bottom. So I'm going to plug this in here, uh, press this button. And that's about it. If you realize the signal is much cleaner now than when I was on the breadboard. And if I find my phone. And what we have to do now is take this device here. Put that there and press play. I really need to get some solid state relays to prevent that clicking sound. And I also have them to be a lot more responsive, but other than that, this looks awesome. So hey everyone, right now I'm actually outside of my house. Um, we have put Christmas lights all around us on the hedges and stuff. And I have the device here set up. Um, it's not in a case or anything right now because I plan to 3D print a case, but I don't have time to do that before Christmas, right? Because I have work. But I will do something better than this later on. Um, right now I have this connected to the plugs, which will be at the bottom there. Uh, right now you can see the screen of my Bluetooth device and it's synced with my phone. And because it's Shana Tobago, I need to play Parang with the system. So just to show you how the display is working. So if I click play. So let's go out. I'm sorry, I don't have like a bigger house to scale this up, but it's pretty, pretty cool right now. And I hope you can actually hear the music. So I just want to say 
Thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and liked this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. Um, do consider hitting that subscribe button. And I hope that everybody has an enjoyable and happy Christmas and a great new year. 2021 has to be a good year because 2020 has been so bad. So again, as always, this is just Paran. Just do yourself, just be yourself. That's all anybody could ask of you. And see you in the next video.